Good morning, Watchman here. I'm here to talk about the Iranian plane and the protests that followed and all of the things I haven't covered effectively over this weekend. I'm very sorry for not getting on this as quickly as possible and I will try to be more responsive to breaking news in the future. Let's cover the things that really matter here. This Iranian plane was the equivalent of the Lusitania. That is my theory anyway. We won't know for many years if that's the case or not, but that is what I'm going to compare it to for now. As you know, on this channel, we always compare history to the events of today because history can teach us everything. So, what we need to talk about is the amount of people that were on each, which was 176 on the plane that went down on January 8th of 2020, and it's very sad, and I... I my condolences go out to those people's families and their friends and anybody that they may have been involved with. I, I'm i sorry that you guys had to experience that. That's horrible. It's very important that we address that some of these people were from foreign countries, 63 of which were from Canada, which matters a lot when you put it in perspective of the Lusitania situation, which had 1,959 people on board when it sank May 7th of 1915. Of the 1,900 or so people that were on board, 761 survived. That's far less than half. Over 1,000 people died when the Lusitania sank, and 120 of them were Americans. That sinking of the Lusitania is a major component as to what pulled us into World War I. It was used as a catalyst to pull popular opinion towards the idea of going to war. I fear that in the same way that the Americans in 1917 used the Lusitania and the death of those 120 Americans to pull America into World War I, I feel that there is a chance that the Canadians and maybe the British also might do the same thing. Do keep this in mind if you're from Canada or Britain that this might be a Lusitania scheme in practice. The people in Iran are very angry about this plane because it was shot down supposedly by mistake. The original statement by the Iranian government is that it was shot down via technical error. That was then revised to be a mistake, and that change enraged many Iranians because it made them feel lied to, I would think, and it's an understandable reason to be angry with your government to have been lied to. Iran may say that it was a mistake to shoot down the plane. I really do not believe that that is the case. As looking back to the history of Lusitania, records show that it actually had munitions on board and was transporting them to Britain to help fight in World War I, which was already happening at the time. That's why the Lusitania was sunk by the Germans. So, what does that have to do with the plane? My theory? There was something more sinister on board. Now, the biggest confusion is, why would Iran lie if there was something sinister on board? It would only play to their advantage, to be honest about it. So, what's the deal with that? I don't really know. But there's also reason to believe that the Germans were being deceitful in the sinking of the Lusitania in 1915. So, this raises many, many questions. What I ask you to do is to formulate your own opinion based off of the things I've said and off of your own research, which I always encourage you to do. And I also wanted to remind you gamers, stay aware, stay positive, and I'll see you on another video soon. Everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine